dug, a lot of local farmers rely on ditches and aquifers like this one, which you can see is already pretty dry. One local farmer tells me he fears that water the bottling company needs may be coming from a local farmer who depends on it. We grow chili, we grow tomatoes, we grow squash. Matthew Chavez's family farm has been in Los Lunas for generations. You can pick this one here and then you just want to get them and pull them up. Some seasons are better than others, but every year he says he relies on having enough water. Our state don't always have the best snowpack and runoff and and it's it's a warm state, which is why he was so surprised to hear the village of Los Lunas is selling off that precious water. Niagara Bottling is opening a plant in the old Merillat warehouse space off of I-25 in Los Lunas. It'll also be in the area where Facebook will set up its new data center and they'll need water too. You know, you don't want to see your water taken from you, especially when you're a farmer, because, you know, that's how you make your living and that's how New Mexicans eat. Village officials say the company will pump and bottle 330 gallons of water every single day. And in order to reach that demand, the company has asked the village for extra water rights. Chavez says all the water in Los Lunas is already being used, though. So giving more water to the bottling company will likely mean taking it from somewhere or someone else. He fears it could be him. And one reason he says New Mexicans should be concerned. If there's not enough water, there's not enough chili. Now, village leaders tell me the amount of water and water rights that Niagara Bottling needs is well within the village's ordinance, so there really aren't any violations with this deal. Live in Los Lunas tonight, Sandra Ramirez, KOAT Action 7 News.